Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, the USA S States Redux mod, playing is that big ol' thick Lone Star Empire. Right now we're at war with Georgia, sweet Georgia, and gonna smash some Georgians, maybe move up to Tennessee, then Virginia, and we'll see what happens. But someone asked you yesterday, what in the world is Alaska and Hawaii doing? Well, Hawaii is just kind of hanging out here in Honolulu with this guy, the pretty communist, and, uh, yeah, they're just kind of hanging out, led by Wilton Hunter. A little bit of manpower, call people into our war, who wants, Buckeyes want to be leaders. Well, we'll see about that, two to three divisions, and Alaska's anarcho, Alaska, they're both communists. Two to six divisions, 15,000 manpower, maybe, led by Richard Pemberton. So it is what it is. But we got to take these guys out, then we'll go to war with Tennessee, let's see. How about Minnesota? What is Minnesota up to? Hmm. Should I kick him out and raise Minnesota to the ground? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, trying to fight into here is going to be a little difficult because uh, they're kind of thick. Thick in Georgia. <laughs> we got some thick Georgians here. So, let's see what we can do. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I did make some tanks. We do have tanks here. So, Armor Texas Rangers. Love it, love it, love it. We're winning the battle so far. The supply down here is god awful. Uh, Georgia, you got to work on your roads, man. You got to work on your roads. We need some more. Oh, boy. We need some more manpower, too. But we are mobilizing more, which is kind of nice. We're on all adult serve, and we're currently at 10.10%. Good, good. We're going to double that manpower then. <sighs> Woo! Very good. So, so yesterday I asked you guys this question. The Texas oil boom began in the early 1900s. In 1901, a well at what location struck oil to begin the Texas oil boom? So, the location name, or really what began the oil boom, location is Spindletop. And that is in Beaumont, Texas. That really began the oil boom for Texas and we were immediately attacked we can't quite win supply is just garbage down here at plantation trace well let's build it up cool so there's another question I'll ask you guys I'm not sure this might be the last episode or not we'll know by the end of this episode at least we got a lot of factories that's a big old Texas industrial base but anyways this question fifth question of this campaign who is known as a father of Texas as a hint there's a university named after this guy. Who is known as a father of Texas? Hmm. Let me know in your in the comments below. So, breaking into Georgia is going to be really quite the pain in the butt. So, and there's way too many people here. So, we're going to do this. Whee! Except for the tanks. And horses. Tanks and horses. Y'all stay down here. But let's get rid of the supply issues. Wow, everyone is really trying to attack down here. Good for them. Good for them. Let's see. Army 1. Do, 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 do. Uh, do we have any more close air support, perhaps? I got some fighters. That's nice. We got the manpower for it for now. Manpower for it for now, which is good. We're going to need a, probably another air base. Maybe one... Well, for some reason, it won't let me uh, bring it all the way to the top. Whatever. Whatever. Fine, and let's go to the top. Whee! There you go, that should be good enough. Because their range is not that great right now. Alright, Tatati, give me half you guys. Maybe you can come over here and help out in Georgia. Maybe. Perhaps. Help attack South Carolina a little bit. Or Georgian Hilled, South Carolina. Uh, actually, you guys all do that. You do that as well. Come on back. Come on back. I made y'all for a reason. Good, good, good. And by the end of this episode, we do want to form at least a confederacy or the American Union state. We might just form a confederacy just for funsies. Fascist confederacy. Economically, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. Well, maybe it does. Yeah, it really doesn't. But whatever. No one here needs to know that. Alright, so supply is still pretty bad. We have been trying to increase it here. Florida... Gonna also try to increase it, but whatever. Let's see, you guys. Who are you? You are the Minnesota National Guard. Oh, God. Hmm. Well, I'll leave you in Minnesota. You can just go ahead and train for now. Have a good time doing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you guys are not moving up. So, I'm gonna move you this way, then. So, you can stack up here. Alright, what's going on? What are the losses like? Joja has lost 69,000. Nice. Alright, they're fighting like Alaska or Hawaii. They got a lot of guys there. They got a lot of fight left in them. Oof. And the game is fairly laggy to do this. 
I doubt these two divisions could win, especially with all the air power that we have, which is none. Oh, okay then. Mm hmm. Ah, there's an airbase. Good. Good, good, good. Throw one guy right here. Oh, there you go. Get a little closer. Southern coast. Well, who is the southern coast? State of Maine, Garden State, Southern Coast. Ooh, where is that? Any nations? What are militia? Oh, State of Maine. Oh. Oh, that was just Southern Coast. It's a perfect. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. We can let everyone go to war with them as well. Maybe that might clear out some divisions here as well. That might be really good to get. All right, come on, build up that infrastructure here. Build it up. Build it up. Build it up. It's taking forever to do. What are we doing right now? We're currently doing the focus of resistance suppression, which is probably a really good thing to do. Uh, regarding that, we only have one spy, which really kind of sucks. Resistance is doing really well in this part because we have a spy here. Oh, 0%. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's really good. How is resistance here in this part of the country? We do have some political power that we could use as well. We'll get that done. 1%. That's really good. Wow. How about Excavation 4, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada? What portions? Slowly going down, which is very awesome as well. And New Mexico is like zero. That's... Oh, God. That's so good. Are we still getting... That's the one day go by, and it's still going up, maybe? No? No, because it was such high compliance. That's fine. That's fine. Research at this point doesn't really matter too much. I mean, we already have a lot of things done here, so... That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Good God, why did you have to come over here? Hey, state of Maine is gone. Cool. Uh, I really don't want to give any more, any more American territory to these guys up here, so... I'm not going to give it to the Dominican Republic. We're, you know what? Let's, let's continue this. Let's give it to New Jersey. Like, you know, I'm part of New England. That's fine with me. There's really nothing I can do here. So, I'm going to kick these people out, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Uh, nice. And shock it all. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Interesting maneuver, Mr. Mocha Lover. Very interesting maneuver. Uh, you know what? We can kind of delay what's going on over there. Maybe that'll help with divisions, perhaps? Maybe, maybe not? Oh, now they have left their positions. Which makes sense. So now, I want them to spread out, just like what we do with Louisiana. We're going to make them take all this territory first. And then they'll spread out, and then they'll die because of that. And supply shouldn't be too bad down here. Ten, nice. Six, that ain't bad. These guys, they're not even moving. That's a bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Central Lowlands, very good. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I might need you guys over here too. Ah, yeah, why not? We might as well. There you go. Do that. And we'll concentrate these guys up here. I want to attack right there. Right here. Go straight for Columbus. Next to the other Columbus. There's two Columbuses in Ohio, apparently. Hmm. Alright then. You learn something new every day. And you guys are attacking all willy-nilly. You know, I, I love the attacks. I love the enthusiasm. And we're doing a good amount of damage, but... It's just not there yet, man. It's just not there yet. I mean, you're, you're killing quite a few of them off. 63, 83,000? 84,000? I like it. Atlanta is almost a frontline city, but... they still being pretty darn uh, strong. Cool. Those, we got the, those guys on the border. Your turn. Oh, wait. Uh, we cannot go to war? I'll have a truce with them until when? December and a few days. That's fine. Cool. I do have some buttermint tea. Cof coffee? No, buttermint tea here. Good stuff. And there we go. 
Now, why am I taking over Ohio first? Well, mostly because it's geographically probably the best location where we should attack. And secondly, I don't want them to overrun us. I don't want them to get too much power here. So, good, good, good. Absolutely, yes, I do know we're out of manpower, but, you know, whatever. It's almost 1943. Let's go ahead and grab that. Garden State as our ally. Let him attack us. I don't really care. I keep on bombing. Some of that. They're going to break that division. That's fine. Break him here, then. They really should not be able to stand up to us here. So, And maybe we'll make Minnesota a little bit weaker. Nice, let them all in, let them all in. Good. You guys come here. And then go up that way if you can. No, 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 go up. Just go up that way. There you go. You hold, you come there. There you go. Nice, you attack it from two sides. Hey, hey, get, get the infantry in there. That's good. Good. Texcoco, join the states. Using other states to do my bidding. I love it. Come on, break him. You guys can break him. I know you can. Nope, nope. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. If that's the case, well, you know what? They've set themselves up to be doing very poorly here, so... Yeah, Ohio will fall regardless. Especially from this side. Oh my goodness, they're flooding this side too. Love it. Oh, what are our ships doing? Ah, yeah, they're just normally convoy raiding. That's good. That's very good. Well, we're getting the territory back. Not bad, not bad. Those guys are still attacking. We could probably move into there pretty quickly. Or not. Or just kind of just trot along if you'd like to. Right, so much manpower does Ohio have? That's a lot of manpower. That's a lot of divisions of manpower. Don't mess with Ohio. But then again, don't mess with Texas. So, Texas, Ohio. I'd rather mess with Ohio than Texas. Let's see. Go and do that. Let's see. War bonds. That'll hurt our war support. But we're popping our war support anyway, so. Doesn't even really matter. Do we need any resources? Uh, no, we good on we good on this. Nice midway. Oh, the midway empire, very cool. Very cool. Whoops. And thank you, Texcoco. I appreciate all of your support and all that oil. Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Are we getting any air superiority? Yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage. Yeah, 15, 13. That's not bad. Come on, Georgia. Ah, good. You're expanding. Good. I want these guys to be expanded like that. Now, we should suffer no supply issues here. We should not really not suffer any supply issues. Level 8, that's really good. That's really not bad at all. Plane-wise, we're doing pretty well as well. God, I really don't like all this lag, though. That's my biggest beef. Alright, so you're telling me level 8 here has supply issues? Please let me know how. For the love of God, please let me know. There's not These divisions aren't that big. 15, uh, I disagree with that. I would really disagree with that. Our resistance strength might be doing it, though. Hmm. Come on, come attack. How is this? Resistance is only 10%. Don't give me this that you don't... There's too much attrition here. That, there's not... There's more than enough supply here. There's more than... I swear to God, sometimes they just make up numbers for supply. Supported? Control of incoming edge provinces? Yeah, no. Mm. You got a few divisions there at level 9. Mm, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Well, wow. we are all really trying to kill these people off. Nice. I really don't want to kill these guys off. Six divisions there, Jesus. Thank you. Yep, can't take all of it yet. I might as well take all of it. Texas needs to own everything, right? Texas needs to own at least most things. There you go, it's gonna hurt a resistance, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, sure, we'll take them. 
Well, I guess it's your turn, Appalachia or Mountaineer. Ten days, not bad, not bad. West Virginia. Very nice. Nope. Ah, good. Those divisions. Here you go. You can be led by that one guy, Daniel Babcock. Yes, 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 yes. Nope, nope. You shall become here, and y'all should come here. That's too many divisions, but I don't really care. It looks good to me. Oh, they're expanding up this way. Interesting, interesting. We'll focus on this group, and then we'll really focus back on Georgia. Ah, see, supply is fine now. Supply is more than fine. Oh, uh, you guys are still trying to kill them off, huh? Uh, how much manpower do they have left? Probably quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite a bit. They've taken 20,000 more casualties when we left them last. That's okay with me. Alright. Excavation 2. Another general. You can have a dude. Excavation 2 shall go to right there next. Next up. Actually, who's who's independent? I don't really have it. I don't, real. I really don't care about Hawaii. So I'm just going to leave them alone for now. If I were to continue this campaign. I mean, I think this campaign is almost pretty much wrapping up at this point. But... If we were to, I would probably take him out, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. And it gets pretty pretty laggy for, you know, a state only mod, so. Kind of interesting. Alright, we attacked here. That would probably not go very well for us. When can we go to war with Charleston? Right now. Go ahead, go ahead. You guys should do fine. And yes, you lovely people. Lovely, lovely people. You guys are doing great. An attack right here would cost us dearly, probably. Probably. Help, oh, man. Help. Help these guys out. Even though it's still over a river, that's still okay. How much air damage are we doing here? Well, not enough. Any damage? No? I mean, these are ground support, close air support stuff, so... I mean, I guess we did win, so... That does make sense. Now, you guys are doing well. After that, we'll probably take out Virginia. Oh, hello. Oh. Naval strike torpedoes, cool. Get some of that, because we can. Rhode Islander. Very nice. Pause it. And we shall grab you. Get ready. Next up, we shall expand this and get some light aircraft. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. Sure. If you want to really join the forces, it's fine with me. Everyone wants to join Texas. Just remember that. Oh, good war with these guys, too. Oh. Well, we're at war with them, but it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, you guys are getting attacked. How lovely. It says you might be able to win in some places. Could you actually win? That'd be kind of nice. Oh, yeah. In some areas, you definitely can. Yeah, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Expanding back. Maybe they took a little piece of Tennessee. That's okay with me. That's okay. At this point, we're just trying to bleed them out here. Good. They have less manpower. Less manpower. 172,000 losses. Very good. Got a little bit of Construction 5 going on. And we're doing a ton of air damage. I mean, we're just trying to destroy their equipment at this point. Go ahead and grab that, too. Alright, so what are you guys done yet in Charleston? There you are. I ha All I had to do was ask. And we shall receive. Appalachia, thank you very much. Alright, well. Sorry, Virginia. It's only going to take ten days. If you hold still, it won't hurt. Alright, so that's the case. Oh yeah, they're they're literally dying here. Oh, that's nice. Nope. Nope. 
Some of these guys, they must have given them the last stand order, which is pretty costly. Pretty god darn costly, but that's okay. And this is how Texas takes over the South. One state faction at a time. Did we even do any cryptology? Maybe we did. We still have one spy. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we were doing a bunch of cryptology. Ah, I'm, s I'm glad I said that in motion. That's so nice. So nice of me to do. Go ahead and help k kill them off. Alright, uh, this looks like a little bit more difficult than before. Oh, we gotta wait to go to war first. G Truce until June 2nd, which is fine. Get the tanks, get the horses in there. Crush them all in Georgia, especially Atlanta, where you might burn some stuff because people are angry. But whatever, no one needs, no one needs to talk about that. Cool, let's go ahead and grab that. Very nice. This buttermint tea is really good. Even though we're not winning in a lot of these locations. Yeah, they've lost 50,000 more. That's nice. That's really nice. Keep up the pressure. They can't help themselves. Nice, we're going in. We lost a tile, but we're going in here. Uh, you know what? You hold. You're going to have to hold. Go and stop attacking, both of you. Select all. Hold the line. Yeah, their casualties have to be, yep, massively increasing. I'm sure our casualties are high, but I'm purposely not looking at the casualties whenever I tab over, so it is what it is. Alright, you want to attack? Alright, maybe we can uh, help support the attack there then. Ah, just go for Atlanta, that's right. And it's past June 2nd, and we'll do this. Call all allies in. And they immediately attack me, which is fine, you know, whatever. Because Georgia is gone. Probably one of the most difficult ones to take just because of its location and supply is just garbage. Just straight up garbage down there. If that's the case, you guys are going to be in Charlotte, not Charlotte, North Carolina and Tennessee. Because we'll take them out last, because someone asked for me to take them out last. There we go. All you gotta do is drive a wedge right there. And actually, you know what, since we're here... Nice. Let them waste themselves. Very good. Passive defense. I love it. Awesome. And. Still can't wait to. Oh, we need more political power. We gotta save 100 political power to do this stuff. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, man, those guys are dying. You guys are still moving around. Attack from the south. And actually, now that we have that here, one, two, three, take out Kentucky. 100. Come over here. Virginia. Virginia. Tons of close air support. Ah, oh, Texas close air support. What more could you ask for? Love it. Actually, we're justifying on these guys yet? No. We should probably do that. 25 days? Ah, so quick. So quick. I love it. Come on, just get one of these two provinces. That's all you need. That's all you need. Then, oh, oh, they... Okay, then, alright. That's good. Yeah, that's good, too. Nice. We really don't need any more resources, but that's okay. We'll take them. Oh, well, I lied. We need some of this. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Texcoco. We love Texcoco. What a great alliance we have. Losses thus far. 18,000 versus a qu quarter million. Almost. Almost a quarter million. Well, it will be more than a quarter million by the time we're done here. Ah, uh, Richmond. Oh, and we pretty much took all access to any sort of port for them. Four divisions. Yeah, yeah. Kill them off, guys. Kill them off. That's good. And Richmond should be ours soon enough. Passive defense. Alright, well, whatever. Become a spy master? Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Now that's fucking nice. All the all them spies? Yep, buddy. Good, those guys are gone. Brunswickian ideals. Yes, the terrorists at Brunswickia. Brunswickia, Brunswick. New Brunswick? I don't know. Everyone come here. Concentrate on Richmond. 
New Brunswick, it is your turn. Actually, before we do that, Republic of Nova Scotia, yeah. There you go. There you go. Good luck. Can't necessarily win any yet. But I can't imagine them holding up for too much longer, though. Yep, they're out of manpower. Walton Walker's been wounded. I'm not really sure who that is. But never mind, is a tank guy. Even though I don't really use them for tanks. Come on. And then we'll kick out Tennessee, obviously, and then maybe form a certain country. Uh, Delaware. Oh, strategic destruction. Very nice. Sorry, Delaware. Uh, we'll do that once we get the next justification done first. That'll be smart to do first. Come on, you guys got this. Or maybe they don't. Oops, my bad. Ah, uh, there goes New Brunswick. That's pretty quick. Uh, I think it belongs to the Garden Estate. I don't know. New Brunswick sounds pretty American to me at this point. Since the French Canadians got Boston, which is a big sin, which is I would probably go to war with Canada, but if, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Not quite ideal. And go ahead and do this. Lower resistance probably down in Georgia. That'd probably be good first. Hey, look, we're winning finally. Just keep throwing troops at them until they bleed and die. That's kind of like Ulysses S. Grant. Just keep throwing troops until they give up. That's a lot of divisions. But that's okay. We almost have Richmond. And there we will not go yet. You know what? This shouldn't take too long. Oh, 85 days. That's, that's going to be a little, little bit longer than I hoped for. That's okay. That's definitely okay. Oh. You guys looking very nice up here. Only 34 divisions? In a tiny area like that? Nope. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yeah, you guys probably can't win if you just straight up attack like that. So we'll see what happens. Oh. We finished our land auction. There we go. Very nice. Oh, I should have expanded more of my soft attack. We're su surprisingly having a lot of green here right now. That is a little unusual for me. Huh. And we're, s we're still struggling. That's okay. That's okay. Come on. We got this. Just use our allies as soldiers. They don't need them where they're going. We just killed off four more divisions. Five divisions. All the divisions. And Richmond is ours. God, I really hope we can make the capital of the Confederacy or the American Union state. Houston or Austin or something. Thank you. I will gladly take that. Thank you. Can the tanks just do this themselves? That'd be kind of nice, honestly. Delawarean posturing? Absolutely. What a bunch of savages. You guys come down there. You guys come around there. That'd be good. <clears throat> Passive defense? Very good. Uh, we don't really need that one. Ah, Emma Smith. Yes. That looks good. That looks amazing. This looks awesome. Uh, Ohio? Well, mm, Ohio, Indiana. Ohio. Do that section of Ohio and West Virginia. That'd be kind of nice. I want to say the tanks can take these guys out by themselves. But I'm probably wrong about that. But I might be very, very right about that. Hmm. Gotta do that. How strong are these guys? Do they have anti-tank? Yeah, they do have some anti-tank on them. Hmm. That's not good. Cool, so that means you guys are left up here. You guys are coming over here to help out the tanks. You guys are gonna be up here and do Tennessee. It's going to work out perfectly for us. Absolutely perfectly. Come on. Come on. How much longer must we wait? 40 more days. God dang. But we're actually doing pretty darn well up here, actually. We're not even... Oh, we're not even doing anything up here. 
What? Return expeditions? What? No. 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 We don't believe in that. This is a disgusting way how everything turned out. Really disgusting, not gonna lie. But the Lone Star Empire is looking pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's that's a pretty good looking Lone Star Empire. Grab another one of you. Malvin. And the People's Republic of Nova, Nova Scotia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Garden State, we, we're quite the buddy buddies with the Garden State here. Very buddy buddy. Help them lower the resistance in Virginia. That'd be good. Come on, come on. And so you guys can also come down here too. That's very nice. Any day now. Any day. I can't click on them. God dang it. Uh, Wizard Country, Delawarean Empire. Oh my goodness. You know, this is how laggy this game is. It's it's so slow now. It's so slow because the game has to process so much. We got plenty of we got plenty a lot of stuff, man. We got a lot of stuff made being made. No, why'd you return those? You just make some more guns, that's fine. Oh, you guys actually aren't doing too bad then. Yeah, let's get another tank. Always nice. Better artillery? Get even better artillery after that. Really hammer home that, that artillery idea. Oh god, I want to form one of these countries before we end the episode. I don't think I even need Delaware, but whatever. Oh my god. Please, game, stop lagging so much. Prepares for the Great Struggle. We are always preparing for a Great Struggle. Uh, do it up there in Wisconsin-ish Illinois territory. Thank God this is done. Let's go ahead and take them out. Do this. Do that. Do that. Should be able to win. Should be able to, even, even if they can, pierce us. Nice Dover. Let everyone get in here. Get in the action. Wait, hold on. Why did you just stop? There's no reason for you to stop. Come on, get in there. You just have to manually control them to do that. There you go, there you go, and they're gone. Man, taking the south, the south out is easy. Just gotta follow these simple steps. Ally them, backstab them later, and they crumble. Beautiful. Sorry, Tennessee, you've had too good for too long, but it's time that we end your tyranny. And apparently it's gonna take a hundred, like four months, so I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, my friends, here we are. We have our war justification ready to go. It expires at the end of May, 1944. And let the game auto save, and here we will go and see what happens. Now we don't have that many allies left, but we do have the Garden State, and I'm glad we made them pretty strong. And maybe Rhode Island. Of course, you may join in, my friends. Of course, I've only backstabbed everyone else. Why not just join in and have a little bit of fun with us? Oh yeah, and let's see how much damage we're doing in the air. Let's see, Tennessee, eh, not that much. North Carolina, not really that much either. That's okay. I did deploy some more planes I thought to destroy these guys, but that's alright, whatever. Go ahead, maybe get some convoys, perhaps? Yes? No? Lag super hard so I can't even get the convoys on there? No, whatever. Whatever. All we really need is Nashville. And we made little pockets here and there. Beautiful little pockets. Beautiful little pockets. Little encirclements. And Tennessee actually fell a little more quickly than I thought. There's a lot of hills and mountains here, so... I thought it would be, might be a little bit more difficult to take out, but yeah, that's alright with me. Losses, casually, third of a million. That was fast. That was really, really... Okay, they all died. Sweet! Thank you, and the time has come. Now we can form the Confederate States or the American Union State. We might be able to do both, since we technically own both of them. Has not completed focus another Confederate States. Huh. Form the American Union state. Well, if we can do both, we will. But let's try the American Union state first and see what happens. The Lone Star Empire will be known as American League of States. Oh, cool. American League of States. We didn't change our flag. We're still led by the same dude. 
Uh, we just turn basically maybe a darker shade of blue. And... We can do it again. Wait, can we do that to get more stability? Well, let's see. We're the League... Or the American League of States, which looks really good. But what if we wanted... Oh, we're still at war? Anarcho Alaska. Whatever. What if we wanted to form a Confederate Legion of America? Ah, there's that flag. And we're a nice gray. And our capital is Richmond. Oh, I, oh, I didn't even notice if our cap, where our capital was for American Union State. Oh, do we got time to get... Oh, we don't have really that much more time. Go ahead and do, get rid of that. Get a little bit more political power as we wind down this campaign with me saying a few things as time goes on. Request gear... No. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Garrison support. But I guess, you know, this will be the last episode in this campaign. Um, I had a lot of fun with this campaign. Playing as Texas is a lot of fun. You never know what's going to happen when you just play as any one of these states. If I start off like as Louisiana, that'd be more difficult, much more difficult as Texas. But it is possible for you to do very, very well if you know how to manage things around, see who your potential enemies and allies are. Uh, even though we didn't conquer everyone, I think we got most of America in the North American axis, including most of Canada, maybe not all of America, close enough, as well as a good chunk of Mexico. So I think that was pretty good. I'm kind of tired of this campaign, just honestly, because it's laggy, and lag kills my campaign moods. You know, it is what it is. But I love the addition that you can become the Confederate States if you have all the Southern States. If you start as a Southern State, I don't know if places like New York or Michigan can form the Confederate States. If they could, that'd be awesome, but I don't know. But, even though Confederate States have Richmond as a capital, let's go back to the American Union State and see where the capital is now. And now the capital is, of course, New Orleans, because... American Union State, Kaiserreich, we're back to our nice little color of blue. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this campaign. If you really want to know the answer to the question posed earlier, such as who is known as a father of Texas, it'll be in the very bottom of the description if you made it this far in the video. But anyways, if you like the campaign, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!